Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream. Third day in a row, isn't it? I think it's third day in a row. And uh <laughs> might even stream again tomorrow, it's just been like that. I had the time to do it this weekend, so a bit of a different time of day, that's pretty cool though. I've got to uh, record with the hermits later on, so I thought I'd swap things around and do a live stream now. And Tom Tom Goat says, X, can you do more plot world streams? I play on there four hours a day. And more on weekends, and that's my favourite stream. Um, I guess when the reason calls for it, I could. Uh, but it's not often that <laughs> I need to go on there and stream. I mean, I don't need to go on here and stream either, do I? But usually what I do is, if i got like a job or something that's like needed to be done, I need to go on the server, then I, I kind of wait for that, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it makes sense. Anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to another stream. And uh, yeah, the songs we listened to before were <laughs> Ellie Beatmaker's A Cup of Tea Remix and uh, and Azuku's English Man in YouTube. And so yeah, be sure to search those songs and check them out if you are uh, if you like them, if you're interested in them. And welcome back. Let's, let's do this. Let's log in. Let's get going here. Let's get the music rolling as well. I'm going to listen to a bit of C418 as as always, or like we did yesterday. <laughs> And uh, and yeah, hello, hi, I just finished recording the little intro thing. So, I've done things in between episodes. <laughs> there you go, I said it. In between live streams. Hello, Autumn. <laughs> I was on here earlier, he didn't notice me. Oh, noise in my ear. Who is that? It is DO77I, subscribing for two months in a row. Thank you so much for your subscription, buddy. Hope you're enjoying uh, the stream. The Potato Viking is here as well, so... Welcome back, dude. Uh, you missed a new friend of yours who joined the stream yesterday, or was it the day before? I forget the name. The something else Viking. The crazy Viking, or the wacky Viking, something like that. <laughs> yep, so, um, got a question in chat from Rink31 saying, Where can I get the pack? Just look in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Um, it gives you a link, assumavoid.com slash assuminati. You can go there and get the link. So, what have I done? I put down these ore bushes, nothing too fancy. Um, over here, what else did I do? I put in the nether warts, and I really don't think there's too much more than that, other than going mining and getting some more diamonds and stuff. So in here you can see we've got a few more bits and bobs. So the plan for this episode should be maybe to go back to the nether. Let's perhaps start off with a little bit of an adventure. We could go back there and uh, have some fun in the nether again, because we only went in there briefly. Um, but I think it's going to be getting power and starting to automate some of the blocks that are going to go above. So we'll be building some machines. I do believe we have the resources for it. And also, my uh, <laughs> my stone shovel got leveled up and it got reinforced, which is like the least interesting one you can get. But whatever. Is my jungle wax in that one? Why is it in there? So we've got what we need to go to the nether. We've also got a load of junk items in here as well. Sort of junk items. And I'm running out of space to store everything now as well. Oh yeah, I also put some hoppers down over here. Let's have a look in chat. A few people talking about the music. Is the music too loud? Oh, apparently Twitch is messing up or something. I'll turn down the music slightly anyway. And uh, Eliran is suggesting putting another necrotic bone on the sword to increase the likelihood of stealing... Um, some health. That's a good idea, however, um, I don't want to rush that because it seems like it's okay at the moment. Let's grab the music here and turn it down slightly. There we go. Okay, so now, I think we're ready to go. Uh, we definitely need a little bit more food, don't we? And there's still loads of items just here. Apples, that's what we're going to take with us. And some blocks on the hotbar. And iron can go in there. Alright, we're good. I also maybe want to set up a little bit of basic storage as well. So, a few little jobs. LeBronHop15 says, Finally able to catch one of your streams. Awesome. Welcome, buddy. Damn it, that ghast is still there. I am going to <laughs> start this off by trying to kill it. Oh. It just occurred to me I now have a bow and arrow this time. And it's dead. <laughs> Sweet. And do you see how close that ghast here was? It was literally one block over. Oh well. Don't worry about it. Flammy Live says another stream today. Yes, that's right. Three in a row. We're going crazy with the streams at the mar at the moment. Can you show the mod list? Says uh, 
Flexu Mick, I think is how we say your name. Apparently not. Apparently NEI just isn't here. There we go. <laughs> I remembered that. So here is the mod list. We've got A for two. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you read that and skip through it quickly because we're out in the open in the never. We've also got Ganny's End instead of the Hardcore Ender expansion. There's also Minecraft in the pack, can you believe it? And uh, Runic Dungeons is another cool one I'm looking forward to exploring. Um, so another thing we might be able to do this stream is maybe go to the Aether, because I think we need Glowstone. Yeah, you need Glowstone to go to the Aether. So it's like you've got to go to the Never to get Glowstone, and then you can go to the Aether. But it's a long time since I've seen like the video on how to make the portal, so no idea if it's the same or not. But I guess we'll find out. So we've explored a little bit in that direction. Also, all of this is kind of redundant because <laughs> um, things could have spawned while we've been away. So who knows what we're going to find in here. I can hear some pigmen. I can also hear bones. I can hear bones rattling away. <laughs> They're probably above me, aren't they? Are you playing on hardcore? Asks uh, Mass Up Element. <laughs> I think I butchered that. Uh, no, we're playing on UHC, like uh, no regen, although when you die, you respawn. So natural regeneration has been turned off. So we don't want to... Oh, well, we picked up the junk items because we've got the magnet. Of course we have. And this is as far as we got. So in terms of finding some chests and valuable things, this is... Oh, you see, the way it opens up like this is kind of dangerous because anything could wander around the corner. Um, however, glowstone is good. We'll take that. We'll need that for our Aether portal. Uh, Orangelo says, link to Patreon, please. Just just search, well, patreon.com slash Asuma. Or you could search for it. Okay, we're getting a backup going. Uh, that's the server we're playing on right now, if you're new to these streams that we've been doing on the pack. Feels like I've just sort of gone back on myself, but I haven't, have I? And gold, we were desperate for that earlier, but now that we've got the life ste uh, stealing sword, we're all good, so... We don't even need to worry about it. What placky, pack are you playing on, says uh, Warzone? We're playing on the Assuminati pack. It's the name of the stream. <laughs> okay, there could be anything around that corner. I should have probably checked first. That's a dead end. Some more gold. Do you know what golden chest plate? Do we even need it? I don't think so. Although, you might be able to like smelt it down or craft it down. And we just got a noise in my ear. It is Kibabus has subscribed. Thank you so much for your subscription, buddy. Do appreciate the support. I hope you're having a good time watching the stream today. It's going to be a fun adventuring one. I've also just realised that we're in the Never, and the Never's bad for YouTube videos, but I haven't seen a single person complain about it on Twitch before, so... <laughs> so for that reason, we'll uh, we'll stay here. Okay, let's go. It's... I don't like the way it opens up so much. I see a skeleton up ahead. I see nether warts, but we already got those. And a way down. Let's do the way down first. We've got one of these chests. And we've got some more dimensional bread and baked potatoes and some endstone. And then that's just more f uh, fortress. I reckon this fortress is massive. Take the gold gear for smelting. Can we put it in a tinker's smeltery? Let me know if we can. And uh, then I'll go back and get it. Uh, we are in the wrong mode to take on a skeleton. <laughs> it occurred to me a little too late. So there's a blaze spawner down there, do I see? And with Jotato's mod, we should... Hi, give me a life. Although you're undead. I'll take it anyway. Uh, yeah, there's a blaze spawner down there. We should be able to move it. Nick917 uh, says, How do I give a Suminati more RAM? Good question. Very good question. Uh, the answer is... Look it up. <laughs> do, a, do a Google and find a tutorial I guess. I couldn't really tell you off the top of my head because it's a little bit more complicated than you know click this button or click that button. There's a chest over there. <laughs> uh, we'll go up top, we'll take these nether warts as well, we can increase our farm, not that it's necessary. So what's up the top here? Oh god! <laughs> I heard it! Quick! Make a sissy bar, right. Because it's at this height he can't get through but we can just stand here and whack him. Oi, come back down here. We're going to kill you and steal all of your undead life. <laughs> there we go. Didn't give us anything, did it? Let's remove that. Should I go watch Lego? <laughs> all the stream says Aniwiz. How does one watch Lego? Is someone playing with it? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, let's keep moving this way. 
And let's take out this guy first. So a blaze rod is good for potions. We definitely want those. Ah, getting a little bit too close for my liking. Did we behead him? <gasps> yes, first wither skull. Oh my days. Imagine fighting a wither today with this sword. Might be plausible. I think we need a golden... No, sorry, a notch apple first is what we need. Right, I'm worried about the blazes aggravating the pigmen because that's a thing in one of the Minecraft versions and I've got a feeling it's probably going to be this one, right? I mean, why would it be any other one? Be the one we're playing. Right, so one of those guys is out of the way. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm really worried about this now. We're just going to have to be patient here. We can gather all of this while we wait. And, uh, and yeah, let's say so. Oh my god, no, you can see me from up there. <laughs> Missy J says, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Welcome to the stream. As you can see, we're in a tricky situation in the nether with some blazes. Don't hit the pigmen. That's my number one concern right now. <sighs> risky manoeuvre, risky manoeuvre. We're a little bit closer. Let's put uh, that right there. We've already checked this chest. God, pigmen, don't get so close to me. Come on, go the other way. Wander someone else in the fortress. <laughs> I don't like this at all. If I get set on fire, I'm stuffed. How are we going to do Get out of my way! Come on, guy! Of all the places you could walk, you walk there, do you? Oh! Oh! We almost set him on fire! Uh, now I'm on fire! Brilliant! No, I'm not! Oh. oh! This is just going bad, isn't it? <laughs> Come on! I'm clicking the hell out of it! There we go! There we go! Oh, that was crazy! Let's try that again! This time, we have dealt with the situation much better. Right, a blaze head. And there's another wither skeleton. I definitely want this blaze head. That is amazing. I've got a couple more of those in my base, by the way. Right, so you can come over here. We might get two of heads. <laughs> Autumn said he got, uh, he got attacked by a witch. Splashed, that was the word. Oh, what did I just do? That was unbelievably foolish, and I don't know why I decided to do that, but we'll probably get this health back. <laughs> oh, multitasking. I keep peering over to the chat, and then it's like, no, there's too much going on. Okay, so this doesn't lead to that chest that I saw earlier. Interesting. So we're going to have to, uh, I think... Actually, no, I think we've explored all... Hi. Whoa, get away. Oh, no, they can do damage to us. But we can also steal their life. Oh, we've actually got more health now. It's amazing. Right, we haven't gone down here. Yes, and that's probably the chest that I saw earlier. Hex, you cannot smelt the diamond horse armor in the smell tree, uh, as there isn't any liquid diamond, but the iron and gold horse armor do. All right, cool. All right, that's that's interesting to know. I think I think with this game and having X Nilo though, we're never really gonna need to, uh, to smelt it all down as such. Let's put the mushroom in there. We'll take the flint and steel. It's probably better to have, isn't it? Is it possible to increase brightness, says Melio? It's really not. I think we're going to head out of here now because we've had a little bit of fun. And the visibility is definitely poor. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And we've just got to be cautious. Because uh, things can spawn in here while we're moving around. Things like... What's probably... Hi! Oh my god! Let's get moving. Oh, he's close, he's close! <laughs> We've got a noise in my ear right there. God, that thing is close. Okay, we'll check the noise in a second. But first, you getting crushed and still only got one with a skull. Yeah, we definitely need a few more things before we fight. Like, what are you doing in there? Whoa! Trying to set me on fire, are ya? Oh, I don't think we've gone down this way. Or did we do that at the beginning and it was a dead end? Let's just go back down here and check. Yeah, I think it goes like... Let's see if we can take him out without... There we go, like that, that's good. Yeah, it goes all the way to there. Okay, cool, so we're leaving. Tazdovis says, I can see everything just fine, that's good. It might be your own like brightness settings as well, if you're able to adjust them, it might help. Can we download the mod pack yet, says uh, Jared Beast. Yes, you can. Just uh, go to the website, assumeavoid.com slash assumenati, and follow the link through, and you can download the mod pack. And yes, the information is all on the screen for you as well, like the places to visit. 
put torches down. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. We're on our way out now, so <laughs> unfortunately, I should have thought of that earlier. I don't know. Whenever I play in the fortress, I don't like putting like torches in them. I don't know why. It's just one of those weird like quirks. I've got a cup of tea here, by the way. No surprise. Uh, Aled Pear says, "Why are you streaming so early?" Well, I looked at all the time I had today, and Unless I were to stream now, it probably would have been too late to stream later on because I got some recording to do with the Hermits. We've got a little event, killing withers and stuff, so I decided, hey, let's stream now. Why not? Just uh, We just do this at a different time for once. Okay, so now, now the amount of items that we've got here that are going to just fill the chests up is getting pretty excessive. Storage is definitely becoming a priority. Uh, as for these guys, though, they're going to go... Aha! I thought I had more than just this one. <laughs> They're going to go up here for now. Remember, this is still a temporary base. So, uh, so yeah, V Dubster says X. When does your server open? It will. The Patreon system will be like uh, processed at the end of the month or the beginning of the month. So basically, in a few days. Uh, Conflan06 says, When are the hundred wither fight video going up? Um, that. I think you're referring to the Hermitcraft one. The 100 with a fight, I did that ages ago with the Zip Crowd. Um, we're doing a 64 with a fight on Hermitcraft, and that's going up probably on Tuesday. Um, right, so... <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put down another chest above, and then we're not even going to worry about it. All this junk, I really want to organise it, but I know it's not a good idea to do that yet. Alright, so this is just for regular items. Where did we get that from? I have no idea. I killed a witch. Yes, Autumn was telling us about a witch that got him down to one heart. That happened to me as well. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I've experienced the same pains. <laughs> okay, so that's very clean and organised. So now we're going to look at uh, early game power. And, and then making stone automatically. So early game power is going to be really nice and easy. Now we did this before. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to click on Solar Flux like that. Alright, so the solar panel recipe is uh, really cheap. The second one, though, I mean, that doesn't cost a lot, but it, then it does cost a lot of those. So, let's see. What are we talking about? It transfers 16. Okay, we can see how much it stores. 50,000, 250,000, so five times as much. I don't know what generation means, but the transfer is a massive increase. And I don't know how much power we're going to use. But, you know, we can pick this up and craft it into something else. So, we'll just start off with a few of these and upgrade them if we need it. So, sand is one of the things that we need. We've got our uh, glass right here. We also found sand in those chests in the nether. That's quite convenient, I guess. So, we'll smelt some of that up. Oh, look at that. Loads of iron. Also, why did I, like, smelt iron in here? <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I made a smeltery thing. I was going to show you earlier and something distracted me. So down here, I've put in a hopper pointing into a chest. So anything that we put in here in terms of ore will automatically get taken out now. So that's that's a good thing. Alright. <laughs> uh, let's put our uh, iron ingots in here. So what were we doing? I've forgotten already. Yeah, well, and we need iron. What would you know? There's also tin and aluminium you can use as well. Oh, do they give you different quantities? 2-2, two, two, no. So we'll just use our iron. And uh, we'll leave this in here for now. Bam, that's that's lots. And then just woods and redstone. Is it that easy to get power? <laughs> that's going to be very easy. going to be done here before we know it. Is that a redstone clock, says uh, Braybar22. This right here is, yes, and it's activating the uh, the faucet, I think is how you say that, underneath. So when they get smelted, it will automatically drain it. And uh, the hopper will put it into into chests, which is good. My Chemical Romance, welcome back, buddy. How how are you, you're asking? I'm doing good. Hope all is well over there. Didn't I just make a load of mirrors, and there's two there? Right, I left the rest. No, I already put them. <laughs> okay, that was silly. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Uh, we'll just take some wood from over here. And then we've got our power almost immediately. Well, literally. There we go. Um, so, this is going to power something from a different mod. Which is called Thermal Expansion. And it's like this one right here. Igneous Extruder. Is this the one 
that creates stone for us, because that's what we need. We're going to need some pistons. Oh. Wait, machine crafting, upgrade crafting. We just want to make the machine. There's a whole bunch of stuff we've got to make here. It's happening again. It's modded. We're going to be crafting. <laughs> We we got to go to the A for this this episode. We're not going to do too much crafting. So we do need tin. Have I come across tin yet? I don't think I have. I don't think I've seen tin ore. Oh look, there we go. Right, but it might be a different type. So let's hope we can drop that in the smeltery and it'll take care of it. Interesting. Right, that thing's doing its job. We can also get it to make a whole bunch. Although we don't want to overdo this so there's like half left in here. We should be good. So look, there's eight left. So we'll do that the once. And we've probably got enough time to get the next stuff going. So we'll dump all of that in there. Zor69 says, is this a new Twitch series? Yes, it is. We've got my own mod pack now. And uh, we're playing it on our uh, Patreon server. Autumn's on here at the moment. He's one of the admins. Oh yeah, he's died once. I've, uh, I'm yet to die, luckily. I also added a bunch of statistics earlier to track other things. Like the amount of damage that mobs do to you and that you'll do to them. And uh, we'll track those over time, and there'll be lots of interesting uh, statistics and stuff. Johnny282 says, The Assuminati mod pack looks cool, but I use Bevo's tech pack if I want something light. Alright, I, uh, I never really looked into other light packs. This is a light pack, by the way. The idea is that um, if you've got a lesser computer, you'll be able to run it, or maybe you're new to modded. Maybe you like vanilla and you want to give it a try. Like, you can start with something light and friendly. And there'll still be a ton of stuff to learn about it. <laughs> okay, so this is taking its time. I love the way it looks when it um, when it smelts all of that liquid. We did a big big project on the original mod source where we put it all into barrels and stuff. That was a lot of fun. So we're getting our uh, tin ingots. That's terrific because we need that to make the igneous extruder. So let's remind ourselves of that. We also need copper gears. Right, so we need to make some copper as well, do we? There's loads of this stuff all over the place. Our first step was a surprise spider plus creeper combo. I'm not sure if you've seen one of those yet. Uh, is that a modded thing? A surprise spider plus creeper? Or maybe they have both bombarded him at the same time. I'm sure he'll let us know. Right, so all of that should come out by the time they're smelted. Let's go look at it again. I forget these things really quickly. So redstone and gold, and we need some glass as well. He had a lot of gold. And we've got a lot of redstone, which I've left in here. Let's do this. Um, I'm just going to make... Let's say we make uh, two of these for now, because we'll probably need... Now let's make four, and then we'll put them in a chest somewhere. I reckon we can afford four. We also need some pistons, so I could get on making that, which means we need a tiny bit more iron. <laughs> and it's happening again. We're crafting. Zor69 says, PSX is my first stream. Welcome, buddy. I hope you're enjoying it. If you're wondering why I'm referring to crafting, we did a lot of it last season in Mod Source. It's one of the things that I wanted to uh, to kind of avoid a bit with the lighter mod pack. So in the beginning, we're definitely going to have to do a bit of this. So just four of these for now. Oh, we got a noise in me yet? Didn't I forget the last one? I am so bad at this. We're going to put everything we're down, uh, we're doing right now down, and go check it out. But it is. Ecoaster has subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing, buddy. Do appreciate the support, and I hope you're having a good time watching the stream today. Thanks for the reminder as well. I'm really bad at this. I still can't tell the uh, two noises apart. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh. And I got a message here from Mio X Minecraft asking about um, on the latest Hermitcraft video about tweeting me designs for the potion thingy. Um, you could always just email it uh, email it to me if you've got email. Um, I assume you have. If you haven't got <laughs> social media, you've probably got an email address. Um, so the donation was from King Rogan saying, Hello from New Jersey, USA. Thank you so much uh, for the donation, buddy. Do appreciate it. And hello from the UK over here in England where it is actually sunny today. Looking out my window, it looks glorious. I was out there cycling in it earlier. It was very nice. And uh, a break from the usual... <laughs> Uh, endless rain that we have over here. So I can't believe like how <laughs> how bad I'm remembering this. Igneous extruder, glass on the sides, copper. That thing right there requires. Oh, you can use redstone for that. Redstone, iron, and glass. Okay, where's our glass at? Are we smelting more? Yep. And 
and there's our redstone. I'm, I'm literally forgetting it as I'm doing it. It's like, was that right? When those things there and there? Yep, that's a good step forward. So we dump that in. <laughs> Isn't that at the bottom? I'm pretty sure that was at the bottom. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Induction smelter. Igneous extruder. No, we're still good. So glass on either side, and then we need our copper gears. Right. I think I looked at something wrong there. We're also making four of these. Completely forgot. <laughs> I don't seem to be in the, the smoothest of, uh, of flows right now, do I? How do I see the recipe? Is it R for recipe? Yeah. So we need three more of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> How long will it take to craft all of this? Igneous. Oh, I know what's going on here. It's It keeps freaking me out because when I open it like this, the Igneous Extruder moves further across. That makes sense. Uh, we want to make a basic machine frame as well. Is that also here? Yeah, that's nice. We can just click on that bit. So iron and tin. That's why we were gathering tin and copper out of here. Let's get this thing done already. There's our copper and our tin and some more iron. Hopefully I can remember it was one of those in the middle, iron in the corner and glass all around, right? Yeah, we got it. Oh, we need four of those. Damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, trick is a dup says, how much is the Patreon? If you go over to patreon.com slash Asuma, you can see everything that's up for offer on there. There's uh, like the link in the in the bottom right of the screen as well. It was tin, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope it was tin. And was there something else? No, I do believe that was it. So there's our machine frames. Assuminati is real, says Chase Pafford. Yes, it is. It is actually real now. <laughs> we can confirm it. Right, that should do us for the machine frames. Oh, I made four. Oh, I just can't. Oh, no, there, that, that is right. I can't do crafting today. We're not going to do much crafting, believe me. <laughs> I'm having enough of this already. It's like flashbacks to mod source. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, no, we need to double that, don't we? I'll tell you what, we'll just do it like that. Yes, that's right. And now we've got it. Right, finally, <laughs> I've managed to craft this machine. Let's hope it's the right one. If it's the wrong one, I'm going to be upset. Um, we're going to go up to the surface for these. Actually, no, no. We'll we'll put them in our base and we'll dig little holes. So where are these machines going to go? We're kind of like running out of natural space to, to put a room or, or something. We'll, uh, we'll go over in this direction. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. This is very temporary and I'm getting all fussy about it. Let's just go up top. <laughs> we'll put some machines up here. Right, sometimes there's usually a spider that drops on my head. Uh, was Monsource that bad, says Green Console? Uh, not really. It was. I'm just being. I'm just being a bit silly. Like I'm so bad at this that I can't remember the recipes well, so I spend a lot of time crafting. And there's a lot of crafting. Like we made something for a mod called Mechanism, and it took us like an entire episode or live stream just to craft it, and that's kind of ridiculous. So it would appear that this is the correct thing. And if I remember, you also just need to have a block of lava and water on either side of it. So if we... I kind of like... Oh, Autumn's playing some Rocket League. Awesome. I love that game. If we like make them stacked like this, I wonder if the lava and water can flow and, and that would count. And then we could build like a little machine in the middle here. So we're going to build a structure around this, a massive structure. So I think I'd be... They are... Yes, they are in my inventories. Because we placed them down, they now have different properties. There's like a lot of ferns around here. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is just put it a little bit further in. So we'll stack them like that and find out. And we'll also probably want to put some glass around it so we can see the lava and stuff. Bam! And I think we can take everything out of the back of it as well. So we're going to need to start make transfer nodes, pipes, um, a way to store all of this. But first of all, we need to go on a little mission then to get ourselves some lava and some water. We can get the water from the surface, so we just need two more buckets for the experiment I have in mind. Yes, that'll do. 
and we're going to get ourselves four buckets of lava and then pop back up here. Uh, hi, Irax. Did I miss, miss much as Joey Fury, Fury Bum? Um, not really. We went to the Nevo and did a little bit more exploring. I don't think we really found anything of use. We found some more gold and stuff like that. But now we've just started um, doing a little bit of crafting and we're going to make ourselves our first machine, which is going to provide us with tons and tons of stone for our project up on the surface. And we're probably going to go to the Aether as well. Um, yeah. Dude with Cake says, X, which would you rather see? A patron pledge or a donation? And uh, which goes more directly to you? I think both are the same. Um, the only thing that I found, I found out recently that apparently Twitch takes 60% of Twitch subscriptions, which is like a heavy, heavy amount. I didn't realise. I thought it all went um, to me. So uh, anyway, you know, it does. those things don't really matter. If you want to do it, if it's what you want to do, um, then either or really. But, you know, what I do appreciate is everyone coming here and hanging out and watching the stream because we have uh, a good time together. So we're going to take some more glass. Oh, that's all we've got, is it? I should probably I should probably leave the glass. I want to I want to use glass so it doesn't look ugly, but we're not at that stage yet. Although what we could do is hook up one of these that makes sand, I think, and then connect it to something that makes glass, I think. I reckon what I should do is give myself these things to craft when I'm not streaming. I might even find it a little bit easier. Let's uh, go change the time. You see between streams I need to do a bit of prep work really. And I didn't do any today, didn't have the time, and uh, it could have made made it a bit better. Uh, Yevelyn says, what, Twitch takes 60% of donations? No, not donations, subscriptions. Sorry if I worded that wrong. The Twitch sub button, 60% of that goes to uh, Twitch, is what I've been told. Alright, let's go kill these guys off. There we go, full health! Oi! Trying to sneak up on me? No. No. <laughs> now you're dead again. Oh, this machine's going to look so ugly. <laughs> it really is. Until we get some glass, it's going to look really ugly. But, you know, we've got to make this resource to start building our base. I'm, I'm really excited for this project. I've always looked at Hypno's um, Season 1 base and thought, that looks so great. And uh, it's very much going to be quite similar. Very, very much inspired. Probably going to be a little bit bigger overall in size. Um, so now what we've got to do is put in the lava and we want to do this in a safe way not a dangerous way we wouldn't want to do that would we and we're just going to do one at a time so we're going to put lava on this side <laughs> hopefully there is uh... oh what did I just do I clicked oh no I didn't want to do that can I have the lava back can I <laughs> can I have some lava back please Oh, silly me. I'm a silly goose. We've got to go get some more then if we want all four to work. Let's just find out, first of all, I guess, if uh, I was right or wrong about this. Wolfstorm has joined. Awesome. Wolfstorm is one of the uh, moderators here on, on Twitch. I've invited them all to come and play as well. So, let's have uh, a look down here. And take that. Sumer Rock says, "Hey X, I'm back. What did I miss? I don't know when you left, so I don't know what you've missed." Oh, funny stuff. Um, right, this needs to be blue on this side for it to interact with the lava. Perhaps did we use an X Nilo lava generator? I think we used an X Nilo lava generator. We might end up doing a lot of crafting if that's the case. So I need you all to tell me, those of you that know how the igneous extruder works. Did we use a lava generator to pump lava into this bit as opposed to it just being next to it? If we did, fair enough, but i got to say, I really do remember doing something like this where you just had them on either side of it. We want to make stone. Maybe it just needs power. Do you know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have power. Let's let's take a step back here. Let's, let's do one machine at once. These things need power as well. I've completely, like step forward without thinking about enough stuff here. This is me playing mods. If you're enjoying it, I am happy. If you're not, <laughs> I understand. Um, so let's see. Now it has power. Can we see anywhere a meter or something about it that says I have power? If I look at the block, it doesn't say anything about power. This one does though. It's charging up its RF. I don't think it's being transferred. So now we've got messages in chat. 
um, saying they do not need power. Okay, they don't need power. It wasn't power. Good. Use the Exnilo Crucible to pump in lava. Yep, I had had a feeling that was the thing that was different. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, Warwick Gaming says, Susuma, what mod are you playing on? We're playing on the Asuminati pack. It's available for public. Just look in the bottom left for the link. Go to the website. Everything you need is there. Both sides have to be blue, another message says. Right, they're both blue. Nothing. <laughs> I don't think that's it. I do think we need to pump the lava in. I just want to check, because that means we would have water here. Or maybe what we did is we put an infinite water source on the other side and it could take it. That sounds kind of familiar as well. You can't just put the lava and water beside it. That's we definitely did with the water, though. I'm sure of it. Let's uh, let's get rid of all this nonsense here. Let's try that again. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna have to have our uh, infinite water like this. Best thing is the liquid transfer node to world interaction upgrades. I think you're right. Now I'm sure we did something like that with one of the machines, but it doesn't like it, does it? So we have to put the buckets of water inside. That sounds like totally different from how we did it before, because we made an obsidian generator. There must have been another way. That was an Aquarius accumulator, someone says. Wow, I'm already confused by these things. <laughs> doesn't take long, does it? Maybe we should uh, go to the Aether instead of messing around with this. And that's what I remember from watching his dreams. Brilliant. You remember it better than me then. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We'll leave that there. We'll leave it alone. Ah, oh, it's really disappointing that I don't know how to use that. Because uh, I thought that was it. I thought you put the lava and water either side. I must have remembered incorrectly. All right, we'll go put these things back and try something else. Rez Brand says, what is X trying to do? We're trying to use a machine that generates stone for us. It's called an Ign Igneous Extruder and the way I remember using it before is that you put lava and water either side but apparently that's a different block and this one operates differently so now I'm like not sure what we have to do to set it up so I'm going to leave it alone. Let's chuck those things in there. These things in here. Uh, there's all sorts of things to chuck away at the moment. Food will keep on us except for that. That's plenty of food. Some blocks. Right, all of that can go in there. <laughs> and already I wish we had like a storage system set up. Okay, so that goes over there, right. So it's liquid transfer node on a source block area. Oh, right, with a world interaction upgrade into the extrude. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I got you. I remember doing that now. Okay, we can do that, but we're going to need to craft a lot of stuff. Right, who can tell me how we get to the Aether? Because when I did it before, you made a portal like the Obsidian one. Uh, let's have a look. Mod. Aether. I don't see anything here at first glance that indicates something special. I don't know what would though. Look, Aether portal. There's no special block next to it, like a portal block. So I think... I reckon it's probably the same. Uh, let's, let's give it a try. <laughs> I'm scanning chat. Yeah, someone says glowstone and water. That's exactly how I remember it, so we'll give that a try. Um, where are we going to put this portal? I've not left myself a lot of space around here. Um, let's see what. Let's put it at the end of this room. This is a temporary base, and already I'm getting fussy about it. It's silly. <laughs> I know. I don't know where I put my shovel. Okay, I wonder if it works with the corners trick like that. So now we just need a bucket of water. I really should put some infinite water in my base already. We can do that right now, actually. The game at NL says 2002 says, I've got a question. Is the is there a public Assuminati server? Not that I know of. There might be one um, at some point. If you go to the ATL launcher, um, you should you should be able to see servers on there, and if there's a public one, someone will probably post it there and advertise it. But it might take a bit of time since the uh, pack is uh, brand new. Right, so I know I think I know what we need to do for that Ignis Extruder project. A lot of you are offering advice about it. Maybe we'll come back to it. As I say, I think I know 
It's quite likely I don't as well. There we go. All right, it's the same as it used to be. I'm now... I'm both excited and worried. I'm worried about dying, and I think what would be really bad is if we lost our amazing uh, weapons and stuff that we've got right here. So we're going to swap these around for things that are no longer being used. So if we die now, like we really don't lose a lot, do we? In fact, we'll put the flint and steel back as well. <laughs> um, so it's just our armor, which we haven't done the titanium helmet, and we've got a noise in my ear. Uh, Jovin... No, Joe Vince, 3,000 subscribing for two months in a row. Thank you so much for the subscription, buddy. Do appreciate it. Resubscribe hype, indeed, <laughs> to everyone in chat. That just made a crazy noise. Uh, yeah, thank you for the support, buddy. Welcome to the AFA. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, this is the mod that I wanted in the pack. <laughs> Ooh. Crazy sounds. New sapling. What type is this? Orange tree. Sweet. Okay, so this place is supposed to be deceptively... <laughs> as I say, deceptively friendly and nice looking. We've got our holy stone, our aether grass. Oh, imagine if we built like the temple with that grass. That would look incredible. Um, we've got some big old trees. Oh, this is awesome. I think we're going to start off by taking out these guys. We don't... We can't heal... <laughs> So we're going to have to use cobblestone to uh, to block any shots. I'm not seeing... Okay, there's signs of aggression. <gasps> and noises too. This is like... Remember, we're doing this in UHC mode. Like, Oh! He's zapping me. <gasps> and he made my screen go funky. Let's charge. Except I can't sprint because... Of, let me double tap. Right, we got one. Let's just get in there. Can I leap forward with this? I think it leaps backwards. Okay, we could really do with another necrotic bone. We're down two hearts. Uh, hopefully we won't see too many more baddies. These are dark areas up here, so I'm going to assume that they spawned in the dark light. And I think we might have an ore block here. Or an ore bush. It's a berry bush. What happens when we harvest this? Oh, okay, it goes back to that thing and we get a blue berry. That looks like an apple. Cool, what can this thing be used for? Nothing? Can I eat it? <laughs> that would be a cool source of food. Let's find out. Oh, we also got a blitz rod. What's the recipes for that? Nothing. Okay. Interesting stuff. Official Blaze is saying don't do it, X. Okay. Don't. I'm assuming you mean don't eat the berry. Also, um, if things spawn at night... Hi, look, they've respawned two of them. Same spot. That's interesting. Like, they're in... There's two of them and it's the same spot. Okay, we get sheep over... <laughs> oh, my days! Oh! <laughs> Oh dear, we have uh, Aether Sheep. Oh my god. <laughs> they look ridiculous. It's a sheep puff. Oh. Oh, i got to get these back at me. Oh no, they're ridiculous looking. <laughs> oh, that's a nice block. A sky root log wall. I like it. Now, I don't want to whack you. I kind of want to kill you to find out what you drop if it was something different to wall. <laughs> um, what is this? Is this a pig with wings? Oh, and there are <gasps> these butterflies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. What's going on? What what are you? Are you attacking me? Oh, no, it's trying to shoot me. And it's missing. Well, if you don't want to play, nice, then we won't play at all. Is that like a bug? Was that supposed to hit me? <laughs> oh, my God, it's a pig with golden wings. And these things. Uh, what's that? Acor plant? That looks incredible. I want to see the pig with the golden wings. Oh, <laughs> it's a fig. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Fire Fire Hoshi says it's usual sheep drops. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. These uh, clouds look a little bit funny. Some of them are different colours. Also, there's supposed to be dungeons up here in the AFAR. And they're supposed to be very difficult. What is that? <laughs> here we go. What are they? <laughs> They're adorable. Are they like... <laughs> oh! They're air, air bunnies. Oh, they are so cute. <laughs> this place is the best. Okay, so we've got some more of these bushes here. I feel like I want to harvest these. I wonder if the axe... There you go, the axe is quicker. I want to find out if we can eat these. Although Blaze has told me not to, so we might want to wait. What are you? Hi. A Zephyr. Are you friendly too? <laughs> Oh, this is so cool, seeing all these extra things. And that's an air bunny as well. You look slightly different from the others. 
Oh, oh, hey. It's another Zephyr. Whoa. <laughs> oh, we take full damage. Okay. Run. That's that's kind of worrying. We need some Feather Falling then. Okay, is that Zephyr still? Okay, Wolfstorm's telling me I can eat the berries. He's still around there. I saw something else up ahead that looked interesting. Maybe we should look for a dungeon. Okay, more dark areas with blitzes. And maybe, like, caves that lead somewhere? Okay, apparently all food is good in the in the A file. That's good. I'm wondering if I should take one of these back as well. Can I then... Yep, so I can grab that. I wonder if we can, like, bone mill it. We could make, like, a little berry farm and eat berries. That'd be cool. Alright, more blueberry, please. Hmm. Does the hitbox change when you harvest it? I think it does. And then we've got some different types. There's a lot of those things. I guess there's not... Oh, what is... Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> this is very, very bad. I need to get out of here quick. And you are right next to me. Okay, keep sprinting. <laughs> right, I think our adventure in the Aether is about to end. Because we might die. Oh, there's white roses as well. They look so cool. There's so many little details here. Including cloud blocks. I love these. You, like, drift through them. Are we being followed by the Zephyr? Oh, look at this stuff. <gasps> no! Oh, wait, we can bounce. Can I hold shift? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is a very interesting block. Can I take it back with me? No. Silk touch, axe. <gasps> we can axe it. Oh my god. This is incredible. I'm going to... <laughs> right, that is a crazy block. I wonder if other ones have like properties like that. Maybe you can like, bounce from cloud to cloud is the idea. We've got to get out of here safe and sound. This is too much fun. X, you can wear bunnies on your head by right-clicking them. <laughs> that, that sounds amazing. Oh, I actually love the sound of that. Alright, stay away from me, Blitz. We got ourselves some blue cloud. That is just too cool. <laughs> and there's the awesome noise again. What? 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 Worst death ever. Where was that? I need my items back. What What are you? Where did I die? <laughs> uh, I'm not happy with that. That's not a fair death. Do we have game mode 3 on this? Wait, what? Oh, alright. Game mode 1. But then I can't really see... Oh no, where did I die? I can't lose all my items. Uh... Right, I don't want... No, I don't want to do that, do I? Oh, maybe we'll find out where it puts us... Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh! we got a problem. Can we go back to the overworld? We can! Oh, There's something going on over here! <laughs> I need to go back. Uh, if we go TP, Asuma... Was it two, two, three, uh, one, two, eight, forty? I think is where I am situated. Yes, right here. So, aha! Look, somewhere here. I don't know if that gives me my things back, but apparently I died down there. Let's have a look. Can I get my items back? Oh, please don't tell me they're gone. <laughs> That'll suck so much. Right, let's uh, go into game mode zero. And let's... Do we break this thing and then maybe we get our stuff back? I don't even know. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, I, do you know what? I'm going to reset that death later on because that was uh, a bogus death. But for now we can continue playing. Oh, look at that. Like changes colour. That is actually all of our items back. I'm really pleased. It looks like it tried to keep the order in the hotbar a little bit there as well. Um, let's just quickly undo the damage we did here. The game mode 1 damage. Uh, did I, I just middle clicked, so whatever was in that slot is forever gone. <laughs> I think it was a stack of cobble, but I don't know. Alright, fixed. Let's get back to it. The Raptor King says, what I miss? We went to the Aether, it was absolutely brilliant. And I really want to go back there again. Right, so do we go through this thing instantly? No. So now I should be able to break these blocks here. 
and I think what we just need to do is leave a space on this side. Is it going to keep making that noise? <laughs> I like that noise as well. Uh, Zeon Blue says, yeah, it was Cobble. Awesome, thanks for letting me know. X, if I were you, I'd leave it open in case it happens again. Yep, yeah, we just opened it up, so all is good. It was feathers, I think. No, the feathers are there. It was it was a cobble, I'm pretty sure. So we got with us a blitz rod, which has no use, apparently. Uh, a berry bush, which we can plant on the ground and grow berries with, possibly. And these blue aeroids. We also got all of our health back as well. Where's Romeo, says uh, MC Mickey 19 You wouldn't believe it, he went into the nether and <laughs> walked straight into the lava. Oh, what a silly goose. Or a uh, pig. Oh, that thing kind of, look, it shoves you off to the side. Wow, that is such an awesome block. We could probably make, like, elevator designs out of those. Like, a, a re oh, let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, I know where, <laughs> oh dear. Prick to death. That is a strange way to go out. <laughs> I'm saying it right now. So what we're going to do is go like this. If we go all the way down here, we're going to dig... Eh, it's probably not the wisest of ideas, but... No, this is. I, no, I know this is a bad idea already. I think it's most likely going to be safe because we've already gone down this bit. Uh, what we'll do is we'll build an elevator that comes back up again. So if we... Just plop down here. We can see that most of this is safe. By the way, I'm not using my good tools now that we're back. Are we going to go back to the AFAR? I don't think we can until we're a bit more uh, set up, really. So we should probably go do this with the proper tools. We're going to basically use this to make an elevator that shoots us up. <laughs> I'm hoping like, it doesn't backfire somehow. We might die doing this. Uh, why tri Turnip says, Asuma, why don't you have to use your axe to harvest clouds. Are you on about using the lumber axe? It might work like that. It really might. Which is in this chest. Yeah, that thing might chop down a whole cloud. That would be awesome if it did. Um, so we're going to put these things back and swap it all around like that. That looks good. Okay, let's pop down. Simply Adam says, how much do you have to pledge to get onto this server? Just go to patreon.com slash assume you can find out everything about it uh, right there. It's not just this server, by the way. The idea with my Patreon thing is that when I'm live streaming, um, that if I'm playing on like different games that have servers, then it won't just be the one Minecraft server. The idea is to, you know, if it's the right sort of game, if it's the sort of game that warrants it, then we'll do it as a, a Patreon live stream thing. Okay. Um... Oh, I really think digging straight down is going to be so much easier because now I'm just making it difficult for myself because I'm going to take full damage and it's going to be tricky to dig every single bit. So what we're going to do is simply dig straight down, pray there isn't some sort of like hidden lava that we can't see and we're going to end up right there. So what I need to do is just cushion a couple of the drops that I just made. Yeah, it'll be alright, we'll figure it out. X, you don't need axe to pick up cloud. Uh, Candy Monster, we did it um, on the stream just a moment ago, and when we tried, when we tried the uh, pickaxe, how high up does that go? It didn't harvest it, but when we used the axe, it did. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Right, that should be okay. And then there's one more bit to patch up here, and then we'll just dig straight down. I think the rearrange inventory key is the same as the recipe one says uh, Lucy2006. You're absolutely right. It is the same, I know that. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done it a couple of times. Right, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, almost took full damage. For those of you wondering, we're playing with uh, natural regen off to make things interesting. Okay, that's, yeah, we're going to be alright now, I think. That's good. We're going to dig all the way straight down, and then we're going to make an elevator out of this. This is going to be amazing if it works, by the way. Like, best elevator ever. And this could be relatively quick as well, couldn't it? The pick works, says the official blaze. Okay, to my eyes, it looked like it didn't. Interesting. We'll have to do it again. It could be that I just didn't... You know, I'm, I'm half looking at the screen most of the time, remember? <laughs> oh, uh, V Dubster says it did, but the harvest block got it first. That's very likely, isn't it? Okay, so when we land on this, we're, uh, we're going to be okay-ish. Oh, there's a very good chance we could die doing this. Let's just face it. 
<laughs> wow. Okay, so where does it end? About here? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is actually amazing. <laughs> no way! Does this really work? Yes! <laughs> That's the best elevator ever. Oh, I love it. I really love it. That's so cool. Oh, think of the things you could do there with like Z-Tones. Check this mod out. You've got loads of coloured blocks. Um, you could just make like a crazy like transitional colour thing going on. You know, just slowly transition through the colours. Where is it? XB showed me it. I don't know. It, it'll look good with that, trust me. I want to do that again. Who wants to do that again? <laughs> yeah, this is actually like the coolest elevator ever. The only other thing I could comment on is, oh, with a little bit of redstone, if we can detect the player arriving at the top, we could have something extend and cut off the bottom bit here. So, uh, what's, what's he saying? Avis Cloud blocks are a nice replacement for slime blocks in 1.8. Yeah. Oh, what do the green ones do then? I wonder if the green ones are... Uh... Well, you might be able to move these with pistons. That would be interesting. Um, so, like, even placement of those would be a good thing to do. Also, perhaps, perhaps having them like closer together means that you get shot up faster. So there's like a lot of potential for this. That was so cool! What a great idea. Put a cloud at the top. Oh, genius! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, let's go back up. Yes. Who said that? TVMC, you are absolutely right. We don't need no piston. We don't need no detect the player. Although that way would still be a fun little project. Uh, we just need this. Also, if I hold shift, we can drop back down, can't we? Does it let us fall? Yeah. <laughs> so a bit of a... Need a bit of wiggle room at the top there, I think. So what happens if we're standing on it like this? That's probably slightly more pleasant. Or, you could possibly have a different type of cloud that it shoots you through. So now, to get back to the top... <laughs> yes! <laughs> that rocks! Oh, I'm so pleased with that. That was terrific. Alright. All right, that is amazing. <laughs> Lawbury one says, I just got done watching your YouTube video. Is that the new Do You Know Minecraft one? Because uh, that one went out a few minutes ago. Right, we need to think about health. Uh, we could possibly take the stone cleaver and fight the Zephyrs. Or oh, actually, no, we need feather falling. So we need some titanium. Um... Oh, look at that, we got four. Titanium boots if we're going to go back there. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Might be the start of a stronghold. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's something we've got to do as a, a group at some point is all do the end fight. Which will be different because of the mods and stuff. Let's go find out what we have on here. Fire protection. We need more bookshelves first. That means we need more leather. We've got sugar cane in our base. We've got four pieces of leather. We can make four books, three bookshelves. Nope, we need to go kill cows in a field or, or breed them. I wonder if we can make a golden lasso. That's another thing. Hi. Bam. What you doing? Oi. That happens quite a lot. There's usually a spider there waiting for me when I come up. All right, let's have a look of uh, look at even. <laughs> totally forgot what I was looking for. Golden Lasso, yeah, and I think it's from Extra Blocks. So, Extra Utilities even. Why's the Mining to feed to stay there? Can I see Golden Lasso? Uh, no. Let's type it in. It's probably not in the mod pack, and then I'm going to be like, oh, <laughs> what do we use then? Golden Lasso, where are you? There it is. It's somewhere in there. So we need to kill Enderman. Oh, of course. So we can't trans transport them back easier like that. And you need XP, says Blue1592. Yes, good point. I can think of a way to get some, though. Oh, that's right. We lost all our XP. Yeah, speaking of finding a way, <laughs> we've got a way right here. Let's eat some of these berries. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, so we've got a little bit of an XP farm. I didn't even realise we've got an XP farm. <laughs> It's not the best XP farm ever, but it's there. Uh, the mining fatigue is from the cleaver. I know that. It was just it was on top of other things in the menu. That's what I thought looked odd. We can 
clear all of these up. I'm wondering if uh, any potion types are available. If we get more sand, if we get more sand, then uh, then we can make bottles. <laughs> Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about like where the sand is. There's sand nearby, so we can get bottles. Then we just need nether warts. So we got those, and then we need melons and gold. So we've probably got enough gold to make glistering melons. We need to go find some melons right now. I reckon. Can we kill two birds with one stone? I guess if we go out there, we'll get some XP. Is there anything else we need to go search for in the jungle? Uh, I guess we can't do the golden lasso. We might get lucky and find an enderman. But otherwise, we're going to go out there and, uh, and give it a try. Bacony42 <laughs> says, Only 7 out of 1,211 viewers have a username that starts with Y. Is that how many people are watching? Thank you all for coming along and uh, checking out the stream today. If you haven't clicked the follow button already, be sure to do so. Get notified to go when I go live. Uh, we're going to be playing a lot of Asuminati in, uh, in the coming live streams, that's for sure. So, somewhere in this biome, we might find ourselves some melons. There's a very good chance that you will all see it before I do, because I'm always glancing at my chat, and it makes it kind of hard to spot the obvious or the details. I see pumpkins, but melons is what we want. Oh, I love these biomes. They're really great. They're just going to enhance vanilla a little bit. It's exactly what I wanted. Search for healing stone equals health, says uh, MP7767. Let's find out what the healing stone is. That sounds terrific. What did I miss, says Happy Wappy. You have missed a terrific adventure. <laughs> you will have to go back and uh, and check it out. Oh, it's in the uh, Aether. Okay. Can you let me know... Oh, and it uses lava, perhaps. Can you let me know... Um... <laughs> oh, yeah, is it going to be difficult to find? That's That's what I want to know. Oh, dear. X Feather Falling Free enchant was there. Did I miss that? Okay, we'll have to go back. We've got an ocelot over here. Well, we want Feather Falling, but we still want melons. If we just get... Oh, and a little bit of sand. I'm going to take a little bit of this. Not too much, because I want to kind of preserve the area somewhat. But make sure we've got enough for a few bottles, and then we'll be good. Ah, oh, this is going to be great. We need to find a desert and designate it as the mining desert at some point. So another thing that I'm really looking forward to do... Uh, doing on here is building a nether hub because we don't have any forms of quick transport and I thought like bringing back the nether and making use of that and doing some cool tunnels of all the modded stuff that's going to be fun. Oh these are pretty. We've seen those before. I think I said they were pretty before. <laughs> okay do I see something ahead? No. <clears throat> you need that yellow looking flint in the AFAR. Yellow looking flint. I'm not sure. Not quite sure. Let's uh continue on our way though. So I keep glancing at chat. No one's no one's spotted any melons yet. This is a good place to look for melons. A mine shaft. Oh we actually have a mine shaft in the area too. Um, I need some health piggy. I'm sorry it's for science. I lied. <laughs> it's just for my health. Oh. Wow we'll leave him alone. So this jungle is absolutely massive by the way. And I'm sort of heading in a diagonal direction so I know what way to go back but I do know our coordinates. I haven't seen a single Single melon. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't X Nilo in the pack, so you can manufacture sand, it says Exardi. Yes, it is. However, we have to do a ton of crafting to get there, and at the moment I'm sort of enjoying just the, the basic vanilla game, a bit of adventuring, and what have we got over here? Some sheep, some cows, and I think there's a roof forest biome over here somewhere. I have had a little look around at the world. That's how I picked out the space that I wanted to play. And cocoa beans. We might as well pick these up because we haven't got them yet. So there we go. Cocoa bean farm if you want it. Apparently I passed some melons, someone said. Do you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to rely on my own vision here because there's some serious potential for trolling. <laughs> and if I do miss them, it's very unlikely I'm going to be able to correct that. Okay, there's a even darker area over here. Still no sign of melons. I think the mine shaft might be the next place to go look for them. I thought I saw a melon near the pumpkins when you had started looking, but maybe you're wrong. We could always go back there and have another look, because I know where that is. No signs of melons. They might not spawn in this biome. This is a XL biome as well, so it might be slightly different. It's also turning to night. <laughs> That's kind of worrying. I need some more health while I'm out here. Sorry. <laughs> Anything in my path now is going to get destroyed. 
Oh, it's so dense and overgrown. It's like crazy. I think we were near this big blue tree earlier. No sign of melons. Kill the cows, you need the lever, says Dimitri. You're absolutely right, I'm so silly. I forgot. I'm very bad at keeping like things in my head like that. Like Normally what I do is write down a list, but since I'm streaming I can't really be doing that. Then I just glance at the list and it reminds me. So if we see more cows, hopefully I'll remember that. Hi. Bye. <laughs> That's not the way we want to go then. Stay out of range of that guy. Oh, it looks like it's going to drop again. It does. Can we... Oh, look, we can go down the side of these. They're like vines. Awesome. And we get some more health on the way. That's good. There we go. No sign of melons. <laughs> oh, we're, we're probably not going to find any. So I think the mine shaft will be the next place to look. Oh, there's a skeleton down there. We keep on moving then. Oh, and an enderman. No! There's a skeleton here too. Oh, his arrow. It glitched. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god, it's absolute death. And I'm in a hole. Oh, come on. Bring it. Not today. Full health. Amazing. Enderman, you're probably going to mess me up now, aren't you? Oh, we just survived that. Did he drop an ender pearl? I didn't. Oh, I got an enderman head. That's amazing. Get out of it, guy. Get out of it. You can't take me on. <laughs> I think I think our armor's pretty good. I think I forgot how good our armor is. And we're just stealing the life from them. Amazing. So, we didn't get an ender pearl. That sucks. I've seen quite a few endermen around here. And you know what? We need a mod that stops them picking up the blocks. We need that immediately. Okay. <laughs> Made it back safe and sound. Also, over here, someone in chat said they might have seen um, some melons next to the pumpkins. So... There's the pumpkins, off in the distance, like just there. I don't see any melons. No. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> that was crazy. An enderman head would be great for a hammer or pick, at least. Would it? How would it be great for it? Does it give it a special property or something? I have life still on the cleaver, yes. That is how we are doing good. <laughs> Somehow. Sweet! And the enderman head looks a little bit strange. It's got this, like, jaw open. That's why. And there's that spider up top. We can hear it. And we've got a zombie head. Haven't we already got one of those? No. We're collecting all the mob heads one by one. So the other one can go in there. So apparently I, I had Feather Falling free anyway. Like... Did I? <laughs> I can't believe how derpy I am sometimes. Right. Well, we got the enchantment that we need. We're now good to go to the Aether. A little bit more geared up. Let's put our retired armor in here. Let's put all these items and things away. Um, dum -dum 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 -dum. So much stuff. And then the rest can go in here. Can't wait until we've got something to sort this out easier. Oh yeah, let's eat the blueberries! Yes, they're absolutely fine. Unfortunately, they do one hunger, so they're not that great. Did you allow health regeneration, says Muzia2? No, we've got it disabled on the server. Kermit the fish says you can sift for melon seeds using X and Niho. Do you know what? We, we're going to end up using that at some point. Um, if that's true, then what do we need to do it? A sieve, isn't it? The cauldron is for making cobble. Or is it cobbled to make lava? <laughs> the crucible does that. It's not a cauldron. Oak sieve. Oh, and then we need loads of string. Right, right. Yeah, so here we go again. We've not got enough string probably. We've got enough to make one of those things. There's a spider up above. Let's go kill it. Oh my god, get out of my base. <laughs> you are not welcome here, witch. Ugh. What the hell happened there? I think I jumped and it hit me and then I got sent flying. There we go. Oh, another thing I noticed, by the way, is where I've been super cautious with the the thing, um, the not being able to regen health. I've kept my armor in good in good shape, and I think that's something we should continue to try to do. Uh, Chaz Meester Tutorial says, X, if the server is running a spigot that works in mods, I might be able to write a plugin for the Enderman. Um, that is... Yes, that's exactly what it is, although I don't think a plugin would be the way to go. We'll probably mod it into the actual game. I'm going to speak to Joe about it, because he made the pack. He 
uh, can write code and it's probably a case of like injecting a tiny bit of code in so that would be the way we'd do it. If that's not possible of course then maybe we use a plugin. So um, a mineshaft is our next option <laughs> and yeah we're going to use this to get there I think. Actually I'm probably going to end up not knowing where I'm going. Yeah let's... I was all excited then because we get to use the uh, elevator again but we don't even need to <laughs> to uh, use it straight away. I've got my hammer with me, just want to make sure. And we need some blocks, so we'll have to pick some up. So somewhere around here it leads back to uh, the way we first came down, which is what we're going to look for. And it's one of these tunnels right here. So you can see I've been busy. I think it's this one. Two things now. The Enderman heads on on pick or hammer gives mining level cobalt. Oh, really? String you can get from crook or leaves until you get silkworm. You're absolutely right. A crook is what we need to make. Oh, you got to remind me again, Zardi. Great ideas. Um, unfortunately, there's so much stuff to keep track of. Wait, this isn't it. Let's sprint out of here. This isn't it at all. I thought it was it for some reason. We might be here for a second. <laughs> Okay, wait, this looks like it, because it goes across by four. Hmm, I think... I think what we have to do is go back up here. Actually, now that I think about it, it wasn't down the bottom, was it? It was all the way up here that we turned looking for iron the other day, and then found the, the massive cave. Okay, so it's through here. <laughs> no, it's a dead end. Oh, no, don't tell me. I can't remember how to get to the back to the mine shaft. Maybe we did go further down. Maybe it was this? I remember turning left. <laughs> oh, well this sucks. Uh, or maybe we went down here and then we went left. But then that's that area. Oh, and then we went up here? Huh? And, yep, yeah, look at it. We found it. We found the old spot. So, through here leads us to a mine shaft. Okay, good stuff. And the mine shaft itself is just up the top here. Sweet, so we might find melons this way. We're going to find spiders. That gives us the string that we're after as well. Oh yeah, there's going to be loads of string here. Okay, so here's a place where we can get the resources we need. At least. And possibly get poisoned. <laughs> Which isn't going to be pleasant. Yep, that's definitely a mine shaft. So I hear a spider somewhere to our left. And there's creepers. Kablam! Get out of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I need to behead you guys. <laughs> Do we get it? No. Oh, that's the way to fight creepers, by the way. Back off and get behind a block and block your line of sight with them. I don't know if that's common knowledge or not. That feels like one of those things where you so once you're so used to doing it, you think that everyone's going to do that when they encounter creepers. I still hear a spider, like, real close. It must be behind a wall. So anyway, we can get our string. Woohoo! And we can get some gold. And there's a spider and there's a chest with possibly melon seeds. This might make it a short journey. It also might not. And more gold. Excellent. Golden apples are another good source. Melon seeds, do you have them? You got pumpkin seeds, of course you have. And a safari net. What a win. Oh, it's a single use one though, isn't it? Take all of that stuff. Take everything but the minecart. <laughs> we'll leave that behind. Let's grab some more of this string. Break the string, says uh, Blue Umbrella. Exactly what we're going to do. Exactly. I've got to make sure we're picking it up, though, because that magnet, sometimes you don't see the item in front of you. It makes me feel like something went wrong. <laughs> more gold, more zombies. It's Minecraft. Oh, hey, hey. Don't get too close. There's a lot of them. You know, the whole social zombies thing makes you feel like... There's a load of zombies come in and you think there's a zombie spawner around here, but it's not. They just spawn <laughs> spawn in their mates to come after you. Let's get rid of that one. Alright, this opens up. There's still mine shaft here. Got to be careful. Iron. We still need that. Yeah, we're nowhere near automating our farms yet. I want to kind of keep it that way for at least a little while. So something just happened over there. And there's things we want to check out and pick up here. Ah, you see... Now I'm more confident about taking them on. We're going to do damage to our armour as well. We don't have unbreaking on it. What song is it, says Fizzle? We are listening to uh, Cliffside... What is it? Cliff... Wait. Cliffside Hinson. I thought I said Cliffside something else. 
It's from the uh, album One, which you can listen to on Bandcamp, I do believe. Okay. I can hear a skeleton somewhere. We're now getting to that point where it's it's like breaking up so much we're probably going to leave bits and bobs behind uh, unexplored, but I guess we should power through and get what we came here for. Okay, it goes down here. Might mean more valuable things. Hi! Get out of it! No! Don't blow up! <laughs> I wanted to decapitate you. Oh, maybe next time. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this thing. I'll take this as well. Throw the poop, says someone. Have I got poop on me? Let's throw the poop. <laughs> Just picked it up again. It's bat poop. I thought they were diamonds for a split second. I thought we'd hit the jackpot. Okay, these things are going all over the place, aren't they? Now we don't want the poop. Don't need that stick either. There we go, we'll take the ore berries. Alright, let's keep on our way. Still need some iron. Still need some string, I guess. There's lots of it here. But we want to find ourselves... Oh, there's a spawner! That is a spawner. Do we want to disable it? I'm not even sure what we want to do with this thing. Probably avoid it altogether. Would be a good idea. Therefore, we're just going to go in there and try and disable it with some torches. Oh, actually, we're right next to it, aren't we? I thought that was diamonds for a second. So that's a wall. That thing's probably now disabled. We'll take all of this string, though. Alright, so I think we've got string covered with this room. So then... What else would we want while we're down here? Just the melon seeds? I think that means we just need to run around and hope we get lucky with another another uh, minecart chest. Search the chicken chest, says uh, D-Dub's rules. Um, chicken chest? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Wither spawn egg, said someone. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got the wither spawn egg. Yeah, we could totally use it for that. Fascinating. Um, I think I want to investigate Joe's mod first because that should allow us to move the block and there's also a mod here that will allow us to upgrade the spawner. We can upgrade uh, the amount of mobs it spawns, the strength of it. So these things are actually going to be really great. Uh, let's do F3, F2, F3. That's the way you can remember where a spawner is. Pro tip for you if ever you need to remember where, you're, uh, where you are in the world. F3, F2, F3. That's the way you do it. Uh, we now need some coal. <laughs> We're standing next to it. Amazing. Could also do with finding some uh, more of these chests. We also need some wood. <laughs> Conveniently, we're right next to it again. Can I use a hammer and get a little free by free? Uh, someone in chat asking, is Joe equal pungence? No, Joe is Jotato. He made the mod pack. Creeper heads will give you plus one efficiency. Oh, like the enchantment. That's interesting. What does zombie head do? Wow, so these heads will do something. Applicable to stone. Look, it says right there. Oh, you got to tell me what each of these do, please. What time is it over there in England, says Brandon's 42. It is 5 o'clock exactly. Uh, that does remind me that we have been streaming for 80 minutes. Unbelievable. Uh, I will have to go, not not now, but soonish. Because I've got a recording event with Hermits. Still need to prep a little bit for that. And I've got to have some, some food. Eat some grub. Actually, no, I was probably going to do that after. Yeah, I'll probably do it after. So that means I can stream a little bit longer. We have found the Splat Axe. This thing looks amazing. Except it has plus three attack damage as opposed to plus eight. It's probably naff, isn't it? Do they stack? No, we don't. Oh, oh, <laughs> we're staring at it. We're actually, we're actually staring at it and then it hits me. We need that thing. I'm going to take this because we haven't got one of these before. Uh, let's see. What are you? You're a Batwing. Interesting. <laughs> Let's have a quick explore around here as well. So we have got like quite a few things to go. We've got string. We've got our melons. I can't even remember what we needed the string for, but we've got it. <laughs> it's good to know there's more down here as well. Yeah, there's a lot to see in these caves. There always is. We'll head back now. And you can watch my amazing navigation skills as I try and backtrack and get out of here. Electric Electrical Grid says 64 wither. Yes, exactly. 64 withers. It's going to be amazing. Do you know your way back, says TVMC. I'll tell you what, when I'm streaming, it's not quite as easy because I'm paying attention to more than just like where I'm going. But usually I don't get lost. I, I, I backtrack really well. 
I very nearly walked straight forward onto that. <laughs> and that would have been a miserable thing to do. Let's fill it in. Right, that's not going to happen. <laughs> grab this uh, iron on our way out and, uh, and we'll go around this and dead end how do we get in here again up here yeah I'm pretty sure this is how we got in heard that <laughs> right now it's gonna get interesting because Yep, didn't think I went that way. This bit is a little bit foggy to me. I remember the water here. That's a dead end, yep. And where do we come from over here? I think it was through this bit. Back around this way. Uh, and the gravel is... This is where we came in. Yes, down here. Aha, see? I know my way. I know my way through these caves. Huh. <laughs> And this is the way out, somewhere over here. Bam! Like that. See, and I have to navigate. Uh, Pig Pigorilla says, I think those ores are silver, not diamonds. They are. They look They look similar. They are silver. Um, they look similar to diamonds. It's always a little bit confusing. Bam! I love this! <laughs> that noise as well. Do you know what we've got to do now? We've got to F5 it. You ready for the F5? Oh, it's going to be... Actually, it's just going to be my face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, so silly. Uh, so silly. Let's get out of it. Right. Sweet. That was amazing. We got all we went for. Uh, now we need to bone mill this thing. Let's chuck some of our stuff away. Oh, God. There's not even room for it anymore. We're going to have to sort out the storage system soon. Uh, we're going to put the gold in here. So that can get smelting. What are you doing, says MC Scientist? I have actually forgotten. I think we're planning to go back to the Aether, and that involved making some potions. So, melons means we make ourselves some healing potions. We will have everything we need for it. So, the melon seeds are here. We need to make ourselves a hoe. Um, let's go grab some sticks. That'll be in this chest. And we'll go super cheapo and do it with this stuff. In fact, let's... Let's organise this a little bit more. I've got more things I need to chuck away in the chests. <laughs> oh, the clutter is real. Okay, that can go in there for now. Um. Oh, I didn't pick up two logs, did I? Put two logs in here, and that'll do it. Okay, so where are we going to put this basic farm? I should have cleared out a much bigger space, and I put this right in the middle of everything as well. We'll uh, we'll just make a little bit of space right here. Oh, and the shovel breaks. Let's go up here. Apparently we're almost going to hit 45,000 followers. That's crazy. I've not really been uh, paying attention to that recently. Is it really that close? Someone's got to let me know. How many, how many followers do we have? Um, what are we going to do here? Like one on each side. Five pieces of dirt we need for that. Yeah, that'll be its best chances of growing. That's another thing. Once once they're in place, we've just got to sit back and wait. Uh, we also need some water, which I have. That's brilliant. And, uh, hang on one sec. Okay, this thing needs light as well. There we go, there's our light. Okay, we are up to 44,000, almost 800. So basically we need 200 more people. Probably not going to hit it today, but we've had 300 people subscribe, sorry, follow so far. So thank you to each and every one of you. Of course, if you haven't done it already, consider it. And uh, you'll get notified of when I go live. So we're going to put down... Oh, that's right, we've got two lots of melon seeds. Well, this isn't the most efficient way to do it, but we'll expand this bit a little bit more. And we will put down two more bits of... No, three more bits of dirt. And we'll do that bit right there. <coughs> and now that I think about it, we've got bone mill, so we could have just grown it and harvested it and made like a whole row of them. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I can't think when I'm streaming, so... 
So there we go, now it's a waiting game. We're definitely going to expand this. It's going to be too quick and simple to make bigger. If we just go in a straight line like this, we can put the melon farm all behind what we've got over here. Yeah, that'll be the way to do it for now. We can also <laughs> put down some pumpkins as well, though I don't think we're going to do that. So Geo Expert says, I just followed. Thank you so much for following, buddy. Do appreciate it. And uh, as we said, we're getting very close to 45,000, which is an incredible milestone. Oh, oh, do we... No, we don't till those. You don't have to. I think there might be a thing where like, there's a better chance if it's tilled, but then the melon grows there and it like goes back anyway. Right, we're not going to grow the pumpkins. We're just going to grow uh, these for now. And we've got more bones than this, so we can make more bone meal. Let's go grab some more. Do you have a, vine, a vein miner? I don't. We don't have any vein mining thing in this mod pack, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but about 98% sure. <laughs> okay, how many of those have we got now? Six, we're getting there. Let's just do one at a time. In fact, I'm not sure how many we've got in total. Oh, didn't drop anything that time. Just seven again, interesting. Oh, the inventory's such a jumble. Right. Three, four, five, six, seven. We do just need one more. No, I did it wrong. <laughs> We've gone back a step. Accidentally clicked the wrong button. And there we go. That's all of it. So now we just got a bone miller. Excellent. Right. Let's get that done. And uh, it's all good. Watering can dude says Franski. Isn't the watering can expensive? We'll go have a look. Also, you're watching a modded newbie. <laughs> I don't know everything. In fact, I know very little. Put those in the corners. Oh, also, it's not hydrated down there. Uh, also, <laughs> yeah, that won't work either. Let's go get some more water. Asuma, did you know you're the number one Twitch on Minecraft? Awesome, that's terrific. Watering can is very cheap, apparently. We will check it out then. We'll check it out indeed. Let's grab that. How did he find pumpkins, says Melio. We found them in a mine shaft, both pumpkin and melon seeds, which is terrific. Right, what we will do is put one over here and one at the other end, and I think that reaches far enough. Oh, look, we missed a bit over here as well. That will do one more then. Let's get rid of the bucket. So sometimes you just get one. I thought you'd always get more. There you go. So real soon we should see something grow. I don't know if the watering can does... Uh, works like bone meal or if it will make it grow a melon. But we'll find out. <laughs> Fal Fal Falarial says make a infinite water source finally. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have done that by now. I'll probably do it in between, between streams. Melons need hydration, says uh, JP Ranta. They don't, but they grow faster with. Let's um, type in watering can. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much just saying it works like bone meal. But how do we make it? I've clicked on it and it's not telling me how to make it. Empty? You make an empty one? Oh, so you can make an empty like that. Why does this one need iron and bone meal as opposed to stone? What's the difference? They both appear to be like the same thing. So, like, you'd use the cheaper one. I'm just going to do it with iron because I don't think we have any stone smelted up. Um, so we need a bowl. Make that nice and easy. And we've got some iron on us. Is it like that? I thought that's what it was. Oh, and the bone meal. Yep, yep, of course. Right, so now we've got a watering can. I've not used this before. Let's check it out. Do we like right click? Left click? Uh, it's also empty. Do we have to... Oh, now, now have we filled it up? Oh, oh, it works! Oh, it totally works! That's incredible. That's actually incredible. Nice one. Thank you, person in chat, for suggesting that. 
Let's try the splat axe on this thing. It might actually be a weapon. Well, we got our potions in progress, I guess. <laughs> hey, I'm just wondering if this watering can can be used with that block. I forget what it's called, but it's like the autonomous activator. Then you can have something permanently water canning, like a melon, and then something harvesting it and just, you know, melon farm. Awesome. <laughs> right, that was that was really good. Let's put the watering can in this chest with our other tools. Let's put the hoe in there as well. And uh, we've got a few blocks to put away. So what are we going to do next, now that we've got the watering can thing done? Uh, we've got our melons even. We're going to build a potion stand somewhere. There's our blaze rod. We'll just build the one to start with. And then we need some instant health potions. So we're going to go for... Yeah, we're going to go for tier 2. We've got lots of, lots of that stuff. So some golden nuggets, melons. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be easy. Oh no, you go like that, don't you? I thought it was just the one for some reason. That'll make us free potions. Oh, the inventory is such a mess. <laughs> such a ridiculous mess. Let's put this back on here. Alright, do you have magic mods in the pack? Hashtag curious. No, we don't. I, uh, I'm not really a fan of magic in Minecraft, so that unfortunately there is no magic mods in the pack. It is a lightweight pack as well, so the idea is that uh, we're not going to put too much stuff into it. So we've got the one glass bottle, let's make some more. Do we have glass somewhere in here? Twelve left over. Uh, we'll leave, oh, we'll just make it all into, yeah we'll make it all into them, right. Uh, I need to fill them up with water first, wow it's like I need a lesson in making potions again. It's just because I'm streaming, sometimes like trying to multitask is just ridiculous, I don't know what it is. Um, so let's say we make, we'll start off by making two sets of potions. So we want two glistering melons, that means we probably want like an extra ingot here. Where are our melons? Did I put them back in the chest? Or did I go blind? Or did I leave them in here? Where did they go? I don't see them. Let's clear out more of the rubbish that we got going on in here. Yeah, those things can go. So that's for our recipe. There they are. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> X, you should try modded, says Biffa's mum. I'm trying it right now. And it's silly. <laughs> or I'm silly. Something's going on. Right, we'll drop that there. So then we need two nether warts. Where are the nether warts? There they are. Okay, and there's our food. So what else here is like, that can go in the chest, that can go in the chest, that can go in the chest. Tools chest is over here. Bucket goes in there. Right, so we're going to make two sets. That means we want six bowls. Put the other ones in there, the bowl in there. And we'll try and get rid of all of this. Right, that is like, significantly cleaner inventory. <laughs> bit by bit, we've uh, reduced all of the clutter. So now what we need to do is fill up those potions. Right, we're getting ready to go back into the Aether. It's going to be fun now. One, two, three. One of those. And I could do with a hopper on top of this, actually. Which is uh, kind of cheap for us at the moment. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, also, we've been chucking stuff in here occasionally, haven't we? We should continue doing that, putting our ores in there. X use of the watering can on the XP brushes. I love that suggestion. I love it. As soon as I read it, I had a smile on my face. I was like, yep. I know where you're going with that. Uh, let's put the iron in there. Oh, it did. Oh, oh, yeah, it's not big enough for all of it. Okay. Let's take all of that sugar cane. We have to start automating these farms soon and get a little potion factory going. Okay. Um, watering can. Yes. Oh, no, I was making a hopper. That was it. I knew I was doing something important. Something that will speed things up. Right, you go there. Right, we're going to put a hopper on top of this thing. And that'll just make brewing a little bit quicker. So it's awkward. Put you in there, and then the other thing can go above. Alright, let's see how this all works then. Oh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything for the growth. Let's harvest these. And then let's try again. 
Oh, I'm not sure what you'd say about that. Yeah, no, look, I've been doing this side a bit more, haven't I? Is that working? Or is that just coincidence? I think it might have been coincidence. Either way, give me the ore berries. <laughs> Lots of XP for us. Oh, just a guy 3947 says, yes, do a rabbit on your head when you go back to the Aether. Yeah, of course, we have to do that. That's, that's a no-brainer now. Uh, once again, though, we're going to swap out our tools just because I'm not too experienced in there. Don't want to lose this stuff uh, this early on in the game. Uh, we took an axe as well, didn't we? So the hammer can go back. And we'll put this in here as well. Let's make our other potions. That one, that one, then that one. Excellent. Right, we're almost ready to go. Can we put some more iron in here? It's out of um, lava. <laughs> Never mind, I'll have to get some more soon. In fact, we need to make like a, a lava generator to power it, don't we? Which we'll do with X Nilo. So I'm going to do some crafting in between streams for sure, because uh, we want to get on top of that, and it's it's really like boring watching me craft, so... <laughs> Uh, hope you won't have a fight with a group of Zephyrs. I hope the same thing. Yeah, I hope the same thing. We got Feather Falling now. That's a very important enchantment to have. So I feel I feel kind of confident that we're definitely pretty well established for this. <laughs> another Necrotic Bone would have been nice. I wonder if we've got one lying around in a chest here. No, no signs of another one. Oh, my tea is going so cold. You might want to make a a Sava drop above your Aether portal in case you fall from the Aether. I don't know quite what you mean by that. A, sa a Sava drop. Asuma, have you ever watched MLP? I have no idea what MLP stands for. Mob spawners? Hello. Interesting. What's that? A slider? <laughs> that sounds interesting. Uh, what do we go here for? The Aether. So what kind of things we got here? Skyroot chest. I think all we want to look for is a dungeon. I think they have these kind of rewards. Neptune gloves and stuff like that. And a healing stone is what we're after. I wonder what this stuff is all like crafted out of. If any of it's crafted at all. Made out of like the Aether base blocks. Cool stuff. Right, those potions should be done by now. MLP is My Little Pony, okay. I don't watch My Little Pony. I know there's a, a thing for it, but I've never bothered to watch it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Let's take a bit more of this. And let's go through to the Aether. Oh, no, wait a minute. Stack a cobble before we go. There we go. Mr. Awesome Pro says, Hey, X, I just followed you. Thank you so much for doing that. Do appreciate it. Let's uh, let's turn around here. Oh, it's making fancy noises all over the place. Oh, we found a Xanoite ore. I'm going to mine that. I'm going to mine the heck out of it. <laughs> I have no idea what this is equivalent of. Actually, I'll tell you what. If we have a look over here, can we make Xanoite armor? We can. Very low protection. Six as opposed to six. Oh, it's about the equivalent of iron. Um, but our titanium is going to be better. So I wonder if there's a better one. Protection, what's that, like, two now looks the same as well. They're obsidian. And then this Valkyrie thing. Ah, same protection level again. Interesting. Maybe it's balanced other ways. Press tab to see who is online. There you go. Autumn is online. Right, so in terms of looking for a dungeon, I think the dungeons, when I last played this, which was yonks ago, probably like three or four years, maybe even before I did YouTube, I can't remember. It was a very long time ago. Uh, the dungeons were like floating islands, so this should be obvious, but maybe they're not on this one. So we've got to watch out for the Zephyrs. Got to watch out for falling into the void. And, uh, and that's about it, really. Apparently Gravite is the best of the Aether. Which one's Gravite? Is that a block, or...? Mine different clouds. Yes, we need to investigate the green. I think that's all I've seen is like green, blue, and white. I think there's a little bit of yellow somewhere as well. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. What's it called again? A fug. Is it a fug? 
or a pug. I'm not sure. <laughs> I like the name Fug though. That's funny. Alright, we're looking for some yellow clouds. Yeah, yellow clouds, they do exist. They do indeed. It's kind of terrifying looking over the edge. I'm worried about just walking over a gap and falling all the way down. Alright, we need to right click on a bunny. I remembered. I remembered to do that. Let's wear it on our head. Hi! Are you going to be worn on my head? <gasps> oh, no way! Oh, that's the best. That's the best! Do I see it in my inventory anywhere? Oh, I've got a cute friend. I wonder if he can come back. With oh, <laughs> you can actually see it. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Right, we've got a bunny on our head and we're exploring the AFA. And he's going to come. Oh, what's this? Go oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the animation. It's a flying cow. That's terrific. Look at his face. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> he's leaving a little poop on the ground there. Naughty boy, what are these over here? Oh, these look cool. Carry-on sprouts. Is that a baby one? <laughs> these things are awesome. Whoever designed this mod, like, did a great job. That looks like a slime, but it's called a sweat. Hi. Oh, are there multiple coloured ones? Oh, that's so awesome. It was just the other day I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if when a, a slime got hit by lightning, it changed to a random colour? <laughs> I'm going to have to collect them and bring them back to my base. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Right, when it comes to projects and doing stuff, this mod pack, it's about, I think it's about, like, aesthetics and having fun, too. Like, not always about making farms. We should do stuff like bring these guys back to our base. They will look amazing there. Yeah, we should build, like, an like Aether temple, a temple. That sounds like a great idea. So I'm really not seeing anything. It looks like I need to go and uh, investigate it. Gravite is the pink armor. Oh, this stuff. Yes. Oh, wow. Protection 8, protection 3. Yep, yeah, that's definitely good. We're operating on protection 3 and 3. It's probably similar to titanium. However, it has a different look. And there's another one. I don't know how many colors there are in total, uh, but it would be a fun project to collect them all. It'd be like Pokemon in the Aether. Ride the cows. <laughs> oh, can we fly? Can we fly on the pig? There's a pig here. Is it going to be the same for them? Hi, Fug. Can we? No. Let's go ride the cows. Apparently we can do that. <laughs> Loads of you telling me to right click the uh, the cow in chat. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this. This place is amazing. Oh, also when you jump you fall down slower. Huh. Oh, that might be because of the bunny actually. I don't know. Can we ride you, cow? Can you take us on a magical adventure? Into the... Oh, maybe I've got to say goodbye to you first. No. Hey, why ain't this guy giving me a ride? Maybe that's not the way to... Oi, come back! <laughs> there we go, you're my friend. Oh, let's go this way. Kato says, have you played Pokemon? When I was when I was a kid, like when it was all the rage in school, I played it a little bit. I liked the card game, actually. Everyone used to trade cards, and then I like thought, well, if we're going to trade cards, why don't we play this? And it turned out to be a pretty fun game. But no one really played it. You need a saddle, everyone's saying. I found one in a dungeon, didn't I? And I've not got one now. So I've not seen any more Zephyrs, which is good. So we don't like them. <laughs> They're a bit rude. Um, however, I feel like we've seen a lot of what there is to offer, maybe. At least uh, on the surface here. Now that is an interesting looking tree. Golden... Does that like... Will that turn into gold somehow? Let's, let's chop this one tree down. Can I hit the bunny? Yeah, good to know I can't. <laughs> Can we turn this into gold? That's what I want to know. Imagine go growing gold with a tree. So it looked like it dropped something funky then. It didn't drop anything at all. Skyroot log. But it's no longer golden. Do we need silk touch? Right, you're going off my head now because I'm trying to look up. <laughs> Stick around, don't run away. Oh. It looked like something else dropped off of it. I now, I now want to finish, you know, the whole thing because... Oh, look at that, my axe is broke. Right, I'm going to leave this tree as is... <laughs> Not normally what I'd do. Not normally what I'd do at all. I'd normally like chop it all down, but since my axe is gone, we'll call it a day. Hello, my little friends. I told you not to run away. He's def He's had enough of sitting on my head. <laughs> You're going to come with me a little bit further. Yeah, so imagine growing uh, gold from the tree. I have no idea. It gives ambrosia, apparently, says Potato King. You need your lumber axe. Yes, yes we do. Let's get more of this stuff. 
Uh, actually, no, I'll get that with the lumber axe. We want to find out if it mines all of it. What is this? Is it... Oh, is it dark water? Oh, oh that was foolish. Why did I do that? <laughs> We've got seven seconds of wither to put up with now. <laughs> oh. oh, he's alright up there. It doesn't affect him. He wasn't in the water. Huh, I wonder if that's the type of water we can pick up. Is there like a bucket? Yeah, look. Uh, Skyroot water. Skyroot poison bucket and milk. Maybe it was the poison stuff. That was awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you? What are you? Oh my god, what just happened? I can't even tell what is going on here. Oh, quick. <laughs> Let's drink. God, what was that about? Are these coins? Do I pick them up? <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking out. I don't even know. Oh, I think it's night time and now everything's going to be bad for us around here. We don't have a life stealer sword. That would probably have been a smart thing to bring with us. I think our adventure here is uh, is coming to a little bit of a conclusion, don't you think? <laughs> oh, that was mental. Apparently that stuff is called sludge. It's MFR sludge. Okay. Whoa. No, 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 no. I can't deal with your poison arrows. Oh, God. We're in trouble. We're in the absolute definition of trouble. I feel like going underground would be uh, the best way for us to survive. Um, but we're going to attempt to sprint out of here. Oh, and no. I think underground would be smart now. We're going to need to take an opportunity to do that real soon. Oh, yep. We need to get away from something and get underground quickly. <laughs> this is the slowest way ever underground. Right. Oh, no, no. Don't come down here. For the love of God, don't come down here. Yes, we survived. <laughs> Okay, classic, classic Minecraft situation. Nope, I'm gonna go in a in a one by one. <laughs> oh, that was terrific. I think I really like the Afer, and I think I'm gonna like use a lot of the blocks here for building with. I reckon that's gonna be my thing. This uh, this series or season or live streaming thing, like use all of this stuff and make a base themed around the Afer. That's gonna be awesome. Hi <laughs> Z Spec says X cannot die. He is a god. Thank you for the kind words, but I think I came very close to dying there. And I'm just going to wait until it's daytime to get out. So, we've been streaming for like one and three quarter hours. So, uh, for everyone... Uh, right in your face. <laughs> oh, where'd our bunny go? We lost our bunny friend. Oh, dear. We're not a good owner, are we? Oh, get purple clouds, but be careful. I've not seen any of that ogre boy, uh, but we'll look out for that. Yeah. X, will you... Paint the pyramid I tweeted on the wall. I'm not sure what you mean by on the wall. Oh, tweeted. I don't know. I'll check my Twitter and see what we're on about later. Uh, Jacob is suggesting to make a base in the A4. I already have a plan, actually. So, uh, oh, Precy, we're not going to be waiting. I'm just wrapping things up here. Uh, I've been streaming for a long time. I've got to go prep for the wither fight. Have a snack, I think, as well. <laughs> Boring voice, please, says Elran. We'll wait until we hit another milestone for that. Uh, anyway, if you haven't hit the follow button, be sure to do so. We will be streaming again here on the Assuminati pack very soon. Uh, information at the bottom left and right of your screens for the server and the pack itself. Remember, it's a lightweight, uh, you know, computer friendly, hopefully, <laughs> if you've got a lightweight computer. And, uh, and like, newbie mod pack is the idea. Man, those noises they're making. Let's turn off the music. Can you hear that? It's so creepy. What are they playing at? I don't even know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go now. <laughs> uh, be sure to go over to my YouTube channel and check out the latest video. Got the next Do You Know Minecraft episode up right now. It's all the other items that have had their textures changed in the game. That took a long, long time to edit, but there you go. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. As always, thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you to uh, everyone who subscribed and donated this stream. Do appreciate it, and everyone who clicked follow as well. I will see you sometime soon. Bye-bye.